Washington's anti-gay activists are falling way behind in fundraising as the pro-equality side gears up for a huge television ad campaign. And support for marriage equality grows with endorsements from key Republican figures, including one of the Koch brothers. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for September 3rd, 2012. Our top story this week, anti-gay groups in Washington state had been planning on channeling fundraising money through churches. But this week, the Public Disclosure Commission pointed out that no organization can act as middleman for contributions. Instead, contributors will need to donate the money directly to the campaign themselves. Fundraising's been a challenge for the anti-gay side in Washington. They've only raised less than half a million dollars so far, while the pro-equality side has raised more than six million. Of that, at least five million has been dedicated to TV ads, which are expected to start sometime this month. Maryland also faces a referendum this November, and the Freedom to Marry has picked up an important endorsement. Chip DePaula, the Republican chief of staff for former governor Robert Ehrlich. He's not the only high-profile Republican supporting marriage equality this week. David Koch of the famous billionaire Koch brothers told reporters at the Republican National Convention that he favors legalizing marriage for gay and lesbian couples. He added that although he's raised millions for Mitt Romney's campaign, he disagrees with the candidate on marriage. Some big international advances this week. Tasmania's lower house has passed a marriage bill. Now it's on to the upper house, which convenes in three weeks. And a similar bill passed by a landslide in New Zealand. It now faces a few more months of discussion and two more rounds of voting. A June survey shows that 63% of Kiwis support the freedom to marry, with 31% opposed. A new survey in Chile shows support for marriage growing at 55% to 41% opposed. Civil union and marriage bills are pending in the country, but no immediate action is planned. And we're just a few weeks away from some major Supreme Court news on the fight to overturn Prop 8. Visit AFER.org to sign up for breaking news alerts. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.